What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, I know I've been slacking uh, quite a lot to be fair. But yeah, today we've got a uh, Eric Cantona review. Uh, his baby card, 88 rated. That's the team there I'm using him in. Pretty sweaty team to be fair. Got a lot of decent players. Usman Dembele, Ben Yedda, Alessandrini, etc. But yeah, that's the team. Played quite well overall. The team has now gone because I've fallen apart, but that happens at least twice per weekend league. But yeah, we move. That's his record for me. Um, if you can't see, that is 100 plus games played in all different possessions, to be honest, because I get bored quite often. He is six foot two, high medium work rates, right footed, five star skills, and four star weak foot. Let's get into the in games. Right, as you can see, a lot, a lot of green there. A lot of dark green stats. Um, if you want to see his full in games, just pause the video and have a little look through. I'm just going to read the stats that I care about personally. Starting off with pace. Obviously, we all know pace in this game is very important. Acceleration, he's got 86. Sprint speed, 88. Now, for a cam, I think that's very decent for a striker. Not so much, but yeah. Anyways, um, on to shooting. Positioning, 88. Finishing, 85. Shot power, 92. Again, all, all well-rounded, fairly decent. On to passing, he's got vision 90, short passing 87, long passing 84. Again, very decent. For dribbling, agility 87, balance 85. Now for somebody who's six foot two, that is very, very rare to see. Um, ball control 90, dribbling 91, and composure 92. Again, very, very decent. Physicality, 91 jumping, 90 stamina, 89 strength, and 91 aggression. So... All of his physical stats are very good, and he's tall, so he will feel very strong on the ball. But yeah, guys, that's all for his in-games. As for the traits, he's got technical dribbler, chip shot, outside the foot, power header, playmaker, long shot taker, and the flare trait. So a few decent ones. No finesse shot, but still better some than none, I suppose. Now let's get into the, the clips. So that's the first team we faced. Um, some of the games were in divisions, some were in... For champions, I am in Division One as well, so these are not easy opponents. Yeah, nice one twos there. Again, the touches were a bit dodgy there, but we still get the ball. Ball roll and then shot. For some reason, I've heard that if you do a skill move before a shot, they're somewhat better. I can confirm they feel no different to me. Nice dribbling there. Pull it back onto his strong foot accidentally, but it still goes in. So, <laughs> like to see it. This is just me being an absolute idiot. But as you can see there, he is quite nimble for a big guy. Don't know where I'm going there. One, twos. Cantona there. Look at the pace. Left foot. Top bins. Weaker foot as well. Again, very, very decent. Just me being an idiot again. You can um, actually run through the midfield with this guy because he has got decent pace. Nice tackle there. Um, <laughs> don't ask me what that was. Trying to get through there, but again, decent defending by him, I guess. I tried to do the uh, bridge there. I'm not very good at it, as you can see. Kante running the midfield. Drag back, back into Cantona, ball roll. Look at the play. He's got 13 men behind the ball. He's still going to go for it. Nice pass. Lucky goal, to be fair. Hit the post and went in, but it definitely deserves that. Nice interception there from him. Don't ask me what that pass was. But yeah, still got the ball. Little L1X. And he gets wiped out. <laughs> Not quite fast enough. Nice tackle there. Good thing about tall players. That's why Suzuko is so good. Because his legs are so long. So tackling, intercepting and stuff. I think Candy is like the only exception. 
Nice little scoop again there. <laughs> Do not ask me what's going on. It's just gen it's just rivals for you. Nice scoop there. Very, very decent shot. The keeper didn't even move. His finishing on this card is unreal. You do you do expect that for a card this expensive, but not everyone holds their price. Not everyone's worth their price even. L1X is again. Little dink. I left that in there. It's nothing to do with Cantona, but any aspiring goal free players. If they move their keeper even a slightly bit towards you, just L1, circle it, and it will go in. Chips are so good this year. Trust in the chip. Left foot. Couldn't quite go in. Maybe should have hit finesse button there, but finesse is on the weak foot. Uh, inconsistent, to say the least. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with Cantona there. Whacked his legs out. No foul given. Standard FIFA. Scoop fake shot. That's my favourite fake shot in the game. I do it all the time. Most of the time for no reason, but <laughs> nice pass there. Very, very lucky to get that. And again, the chip. No chance the keeper's ever going to get that. Nice pass in the midfield there. L1X to set him on a run. But we didn't need it. Ben Yedda. Free kick with him. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'm probably the worst free kick taker on this game. I think I've scored one in about 400. Yep, very lucky to get that there. End up losing possession of the ball. Standard me things. Not quite sure what he's doing there. Gomez, always trusting the Gomez, apart from when he's passing. <laughs> Into Cantona, nice pass, sets Maradona away. Again, very lucky. Had the chance to bury the game here, and I ruined it. I ended up winning that game in penalties, but yeah. But into the pros and cons. As you can see, there are a lot of pros, not many cons, so it's always good. But yeah, for the first one, agility is very high, especially for a player this tall. So it makes him feel less tall, uh, less clunky. But yeah, next one, finesse shots. His finesse shots for me are very good, especially on the strong foot, uh, edge of box, etc. They they always manage to go in. His attack and runs, um, they're very, very good for me. Um, I used him in striker, I've used him in cam, and I used him in centre mid, and in all of those positions, to be fair, he makes very decent runs. Presence on the field, he's tall, he's strong, decent jumping. He's got a very decent presence on the field, muscles people off the ball, etc. Next one, weak foot. I scored a fair amount of goals, to be fair, on his weak foot. In all honesty, to be fair, it does feel like five star, <laughs> which is obviously a bonus. And the last one being finishing, um, left foot, right foot, inside the box, outside the box. His finishing is very, very good. Again, you do expect it for an icon for this sort of price. Now into the cons. Um, if you've already looked up at the screen, which you most probably have, you can see I've bit one of his cons is horse legs. <laughs> now, now, it might sound weird, but let me explain. So, he is agile, he is quite fast, but he feels like if you give Peter Crouch five-star skills, he might feel quite nimble when he's doing skills, etc. But if you try turn at more than a 12-degree angle, He's going to turn very slowly and very like a horse. <laughs> so one of his cons is horse legs. Um, the next one is position. I, I honestly didn't know where to play. I didn't know where to play him. I played him in striker. I played him in cam. I played him in centre mid. And I even played him in CDM. And I, I haven't worked out his position. I have to use him because of an icon of this value being untradeable as well. So I can't sell him. I have to find a way to use him. But if you... If you have him and you play him somewhere and he's really good, let me know. Or any suggestions where you think I should play him, again, let me know. But I gave him an 8.9 out of 10, which I think is fair. 
and uh, he is 1.85 million on PlayStation and 1.75 on Xbox, which again is ridiculous coins, especially I only have 1 million coins total in my club, so he's worth more than my club. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the review. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. Comment down below who you want reviewed next. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, have a great time.